Hello guys, what is up? It's Wolfie Station back with another video and today's video is gonna be another cartoon creepy pasta. And in this cartoon creepy pasta we are gonna read uh, the uh, adventure time uh, last episode. <sighs> Dead Mordecai. Um um, if you guys didn't use my like this episode, let me know in the comments below. Also, l l let me know what else you guys want to see in my next video, and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. No problem with that. So, with that being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification to get notified. Let's get in with the video. <coughs> I always have a good feeling about Cartoon Network showing the new shows. During the second era of my life, I have realized that there were so many new shows like Regular Show, Chowder, Clarence. It had all came back to me and I watched all three of those shows. But the one I adore the most is regular show. The other two shows were good, but I oh, but I always had a good feeling about regular show since that is one of the newest shows I had to check it out. But there were two other shows that I that did not have a real connection with me as far as regular show goes. Clarence the boy was just a little bit too fat, a little no a little mean, I know. But it's true, and second chowder, the skin was purple instead of the normal color like Clarence's skin was. Anyways, so I started watching Razor Show and it was good. My favorite character was Mordecai. He just seemed like a cool character to, you know, be with. I mean, he seemed like a cool character in my eyes. Well, one day, made me want to not want to watch this show anymore. After from that horror experience of what this show was really in. August 24th, 2015. I was walking around one day until something caught my eye. I stepped on something and then I looked down and I saw it with a DVD case for regular show season 2. It had 36, 35 episodes. The 36th episode was a bonus episode. So I figured it was going to be a sneak peek of the, of the next season. Boy, was I wrong about that. So I looked on the bag to make sure there were no scratches or no, or no damage had been done to it. And to my surprise, there was no damage to it. Whatsoever, there was no damage at all. <clears throat> I took it home. And then I hooked up my DVD player that I had in my room. Then I took the disc out and I put it in my then I put it in my DVD player. So I got the remote that goes to my DVD player and my TV. Just in case if I need to adjust the volume or in case if I need to press play or whatever. It showed a brief advert for Chuck E. Cheese's. Then it showed up with one of those Cartoon Network promos as it usually does, but this time it would find out that Freddy's promo, not the regular promo from the other Cartoon Network shows I had, which was Teen Titans Go at the time. <clears throat> I figured maybe this was something related to find out that Freddy's. That could be due to the new episode. I don't know, but I figured it out. I, I just thought it was just going to be, you know, a, a regular episode. 
So when the options screen came up, the music was very creepy. It had a few violin. It had a few violins playing in a deep haunting melody. It it started with one violin, then it goes to two, three, four, then ten. It was getting gradually. It was getting gradually louder during the few other minutes. There were only four options. Play. Scene select. Setup. Language. I go. I go to the language to see what language is supported because I was always the nerd for that. It had almost every language. They had Albanian, Bangladesh, German, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, South Asian, Portuguese, Britain, Spanish, English, obviously. Anyways, it had all, it had all the languages there: Russian, Scandinavian, and all the other languages there is in the world. And I was pretty surprised that even that even the most out outed even the most outed countries that had that had the language had Cartoon Network. I didn't know that they have it, but I knew. But I knew that they need to have Cartoon Network somewhere. So I went up, so I went back, and then I went to setup. There was, there was, there were settings for music volume, voice volume, and other stuff like that, like you would see in the game. <laughs> there was also a, uh, setting for brightness of the screen and, and in gamma. I'm like, what? This is not a video game. This is a TV show. Well, it's a DVD, so I guess you could put that there. There were all... Then I pressed back on my remote. Then I went up to episode selection. A big red no popped up on the screen. No, I thought to myself. Then I figured, you know... I guess I just had to watch the episode first. So I pressed play all and then the Cartoon Network came up. But this time it was different. The white. The white was on the left side instead of the right side. And the black side was on the right side instead of the left side. The C was black and the N was white. It, it it looked like it looked like the tile tiles was switched was switched around. And at the bottom it did not say it did not say Cartoon Network. It said Critical nuclear. I'm like, what? You cannot have a cartoon network channel like that. This is this is not critical nuclear. This is cartoon network. What is the what the heck is going on? Anyway, the first episode started. It was pretty normal. I watched all through with the thirty five episodes. I paused it at the end of the 30, 35th episode. Then I paused it to get some pizza from Domino's. I don't know, I like pizza from Mazio's and Domino's the same. They all have pizza, so hey, why not? <laughs> then, when I got back home, my TV was black. Then I figured, since it was inactive for so long, it went black. 
So I pressed the play button on my remote and then it said and then a message popped up. It said, do you want to see the episode 36, season 3, episode 1? I said, yeah, I want to see the new season. There was two options, yes and no. I switched it over to yes, and then it said, okay, you asked for it. I said, ask for what to myself? After that, there were no other messages. Regular show. Regular show started. But this time, it was not cheerful at all. The intro was... Was very... Creepy. And demonic. It was creepy and demonic. It sounded like a dark piano playing in deep haunting melody like it did when it was on like it was on a tall screen, but the tall screen had violin instead of piano. Then the screen, then the screen was in, was in a darker contrast than it was in the other episodes. The episodes had the other episodes had brighter contrast than just this. Then we see Mordecai sitting on the couch. No Rigby was in sight. He sighed and said, "Man, I don't know how much longer I can I can put up with this." I mean, I love Rigby so much. I just wish that he would just, you know, bang me for once. I said, Whoa, what the hell is this shit? Wait, bang and then fuck? What the fuck is this? This episode is a piece of shit. This episode should not be made for kids who don't know what... Bang actually meant, meant. I paused. I paused the TV to go run to the bathroom, and blowing out chunks, so I don't ruin the floor in the front room. Otherwise, my parents would be pissed because that floor was very expensive. It cost. It cost a thousand dollars to replace the whole entire wood and an extra fifty dollars for glue. Luckily I made I made I made it to the bathroom just in time because I was ready to let loose all the chunks. Then then, um, when I came back, after I was done blowing out chunks, I went, I sat on the chair where I was sitting, which is my chair because I bought with my money, and then I pressed play. Morkai was still sitting on the couch, still depressed, and said, you know, if Rigby would just fuck me for once, I'd be happy. I was actually laughing at this point because because regular show did not really have any, any bad words in it. I mean, yeah, they used piss, crap, and screw up, but nothing like this before. I was still a little concerned about who the hell made this episode because they need to be fired permanently. And and we and then I watched then I watched the rest of the episode when like this more guy was still depressed and he said if Rigby would just fuck me for once I'd be happy. I was about to get sick again, but then but then I held it back as much as I could. Then Rigby came in wa- walking from downstairs from his house. He was walking downstairs and 
and Morgai was still looking sad, and Rigby sat next to him and said, What's wrong, dude? As Mor as as Rigby would usually say in any other episode, Morgai said, Man, I'm 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 depressed. Rigby asked, Why are you depressed? Morgai said, Well, it's because my fa it because my friend doesn't like me like the way I like them. Rigby looked at him confusedly. You mean Benson? I thought you hated him. Morkai looked at Rigby angrily and said, Are you insane, you fucking moron? I don't like Benson. I hate him with passion. I said, geez. Someone got on Morkai's bad side today. The ring me said, Who? Who is your friend that you like that they might not like you back? Morkai took a deep breath and said, It's you, Rigby. It's you. Rigby got red, like he was blushing. He said, Me? Me? You like me? Morkai said, It's true, Rigby. I do like you. I like you a lot. We, we've been mates for so long. And I really want you to be with me forever. Rigby, Rigby said, To be honest, dude, I really, really like you. Can you please tell me in what way, in what way do you like me? Do you mean that in a lovely way, a couple way, or what? I meant that in a gay way. Rigby's eyes opened wide. What if we're going to win, huh? Hold up. A gay way? Morkai looked at Rigby. Rigby looked at Morkai and said, Yes, in a gay way. I'm gay for you. You should, you should, you should know this. Rigby, Rigby said to Morkai, Well, I'd say I had no words to say, but I guess the only way I can say is that I don't, I'm not, I'm not like that. I don't love you at all. I like you as a friend, but if, but if you want to get banged, if you want to get fucked by other guys in the ass, be my guest. But I'm not going to do it for you, Morgan. I mean, if you like that, yeah, go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to do it for you. I, I don't think we should be friends anymore. Morkai got even more depressed. He got so depressed that his blue and white fur started start, start to turn black and gray. Like, like the depressing old picture would have. Morkai, Morkai said... If you want this friendship to be over, you can have that. But just remember, when you have no friends, you become very depressed. And you're going to wish that you still had friends. I said, man, this, this disgusting, gay, dark episode took a real demented, twisted turn. Bring me said angrily, fine. You don't want to be my friend, and I just think I just gotta find a new friend. Because you clearly aren't cool enough. Rigby Mordecai pulled Rigby back by the neck and he said, What the hell did you just say to me? He said, I said because apparently you're not cool enough to hang out with me. 
Mordecai got even more angry that his face was turning red away from his black and gray skin. He said, How fucking dare you say I'm not cool enough? We are supposed to be lifelong friends, not long lifetime rivals. Well, you want to end this friendship or not? I said I didn't. I didn't want to come to this, but you left me no choice, Rigby. Morkai said angrily. How about you just? How about you just go, and don't come back. Mordecai said, pointing to the door. Rigby said, fine. And you want me gone? You have me gone. Rigby yelled at uh, Mordecai as he walked toward the door and then slammed it. Mordecai sighed and went to the shed. He got a rope, a hook, and a stool. He said, I, I don't, I really don't know what came over me. But now Ring has gone, I have no one to go in life with. Benson hates me. Rigby hates me. Everyone in the whole fucking entire universe hates me. I have, I have no choice but to kill myself. So we see a sped up video of Mordecai screwing in. Screwing in a hook that you can just put onto walls and stuff like that. He made he made a rope into a noose, and he stood on the stool, and he said his last words, goodbye. He kicked the stool, and. He instantly died after he kicked his stool and the noose got him by the neck. Then his lifeless body was just swinging side to side. Blood trickled from him and everything. I was sad and scared. Why would someone want to commit suicide in a kid's show like regular show? That just doesn't make any sense. I contacted, I contacted Cartoon Network about this episode. And they said this was an, this was an experiment for, for the next season. I said, so what, you're just planning to make three seasons and only have episode one of season three? That's when Mordecai dead. JG Quintel said, "Yes, yes, we wanted Mordecai to die because he doesn't really play a big role in the show." I said, hold up, I'm sorry to cut you off, Mr. Quintel, but Mordecai did play a big role in a regular show. He always played a big role. Yes, Rigby was with him, but Rigby left, and now Mordecai would be the last one standing, but now he killed himself because of the news. JG said, <laughs> not in my eyes. He didn't really play a big role in my eyes. Then I said, Then you must not watch the production of regular show. Then JG got pissed and said, I have watched every single fucking episode that it put in front of me. I am... I mean, I told the creators of what to do, and I told to animate... Draw the storyboard and make the voices of both of them. And you cannot tell me anything different. I said, Mr. Quintel, 
You just, you just admitted that, that you, you animated. I said I made a mistake. I got into a hit, I got into a hit argument with JG Quintel for like 14 minutes straight. That is till he hung up on me. And emailed me instead. He said, this, this is JG Quintel. Um... For some odd reason, one of our one of our animators found an old DVD behind a mental asylum. Insane mental asylum. I asked, see, now was that so hard? He said. No. Because I didn't want you to find out the truth. I said such an idiot for not telling me this from the get-go he said but thanks anyways anything else you want to know about me before before I end this conversation I replied no JG I got the proof I needed he said okay contact me if you need any, if you need anything else like if you want to like if you have another scary Horrifying episode that would not supposed to ever somehow did. I said I will. That the last day I watched regular show for a long ass time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little cartoon creepy pasta. You guys have, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what else you guys want to see in my next video. And by the way, this is gonna be my. My, I'm, I'm gonna say, like, my second, my first or second, uh, regular show, uh, Creepy, blah, 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 Creepy Pasta that I have done, and I am very thrilled to see what else you guys have. So, if you guys want to comment your own ideas on a Creepy on a creepy pasta on a creepy pasta that I should do next in my next video. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for three hundred and forty nine subscribers. I wanna say hundred forty nine subscribers. Sorry, I want to say three hundred and forty nine subscribers. You guys are very supportive. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Wolfie Station, and peace out.